Welcome back. We're now on 14.2, pH and pOH. In this section, we're going to explain the characterization of aqueous solutions, such as acidic, basic, or neutral. Express hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations on the pH and pOH scales and perform calculations relating pH and pOH. So we talked about how Kw equals H3O plus times OH minus. And in pure water, the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of OH minus. And we calculated that also to find that it's equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14, or so I'm not, negative 7 molar at 25 degrees Celsius. And that Kw was equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So when we have a concentration of hydronium and hydroxide equal, the solution is said to be neutral. Okay, so when they're the same concentrations, we have a neutral, con a neutral solution. Again, in pure water, they are equal to each other. But if we go and dissolve an acid or base into our water, then our hydronium and hydroxide are not equal to each other anymore. But Kw still stays as equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. H3O plus and OH minus are inversely related to each other. If one goes up, the other has to go down. So if you have a hydronium concentration greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, then your OH must be less than that, and we have an acidic solution. We have more acid than base. If the opposite is true, your, your hydroxide concentration is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, then your hydronium must be less than that, and then you have a basic solution. And we can express how acidic or basic something is, in per, and we use that by... Um, with what is called the pH scale, or pX. So the general thing is pX is equal to the negative log of X. So pH is equal to the negative log of H+. Plus. Um, and H+, plus, like I said um, in last section, H+, plus and H3O are often used interchangeably. So when I was an undergrad and I was petty, and, it, and I would always write H3O+, plus because I wanted to make sure. So if that helps you, it's totally fine. H plus and H3O plus mean the same thing. If it helps you remember that it's actually hydronium we're looking at, not protons, by all means, write it that way. There is such thing as pOH. So we can also have pOH, and that is equal to the negative log of your concentration of hydroxide. pH is definitely the more common one. This is what you see all over the place. Um, it is a logarithmic scale. So if you go up by one unit of pH, you're going up by 10 times concentration of hydronium. So the scale tends to go from basically 0 to 14, where a pH of 7 is neutral. So remember, we were talking about 1 times 10 to the negative 14 was neutral. So if that's equal to the concentration of H3O, plus, and you do the negative log of that, you get or sorry, that, that's Kw, so that means that H3O plus is 10 to the negative 7. The log of 10 to the negative 7 is 7, or the negative log. Okay, if you have all hydroniums, you know, pretty much, and way little OH minus, you're, you might have a 10 to the negative 1 power concentration of hydronium. You take the negative log of that, you get a pH of 1. So if you have a pH less than 7, you are acidic. If your pH is greater than 7, you are basic. Again, pOH exists, and it's a negative log of OH minus. And if you were to add pH and pOH together, you get 14. So let's say I tell you the pH of a solution is 6.1, and I want to know the pOH, then you would do 14 minus 6.1 to get pOH. Um, this is also, 14 is also equal to pKw. And we'll talk more about what pKs are later. Um, another thing I want to point out with pH and pOH, um, oftentimes you'll be given um, a pH and you want to find your 
hydronium concentration. So to do that, this is log base 10. So the opposite of log is, is taking the exponent. So 10 to your pH power. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, 10 to your negative pH power. Can't forget that negative sign is equal to your H plus or your hydronium concentration. So similarly with pOH, again, base 10. So 10 to the negative pOH is equal to your OH minus concentration. So as long as you are given one of these four values, given pH, pOH, OH minus, H3O plus, you can find all the other uh, values because you have a pKW, you know what kW is, and you can, enter, you can change between all of these. Um, so in the past on exams, um, so here's maybe an exam hint for those of you that are actually watching these videos. <laughs> um, I might give you something where uh, it'll be a table that says something like pH, pOH, H3O plus, OH minus. And I want you to fill in the blanks. So like, you know, number one, then maybe I told you the pH is 2.01 and you have to fill in what the other three parts are. And then there's another part in the table where I give you OH minus and I tell you it's 1.3 times 10 to the negative 10th molar. And now you have to fill in the other parts. So I might give you something like that. Um, like we've said a few times, if hydronium and hydroxide concentrations are equal at 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh each, you have a neutral solution. If hydronium is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative seventh, it's acidic. If OH is greater than that, it's basic. So then you have a nice little table to summarize our relationships between acidic, basic, and neutral solutions. So remember, acidic has a pH less than 7, neutral equals 7, basic is greater than 7. Um, your book gives you this nice table kind of showing you um, some common pHs, um, some common substances um, of at 25 degrees Celsius. So um, for instance, you know, you see hydronium here and you see above it, are strong acids. Oops. So these are the strong acids above hydronium. Below hydronium are weak acids. Um, and then on the base side, above water are the strong bases, below it are weak bases. Or I'm sorry, other way. Underneath, sorry, underneath hydroxide, these are the strong bases. And above it are weak bases. There we go. So let's look at an example. We want to find the pH from a hydronium concentration. So we're told the concentration of hydronium from stomach acid is 1.2 times 10 to the negative third molar, and we want to find the pH. So stomach acid actually is mostly hydrochlor hydrochloric acid. Um, for those of you maybe that watched the Fairly Odd Parents when you were kids like me, um, I always remember when Timmy, I forget whose body he's in. Was he inside Vicky's? I don't remember, but they're going by stomach acid and they're going on a little tour of it. And the guy tells the guy to like, beware of that stomach acid. It's hydrophobic horrible. I've literally never forgotten that stomach acid was hydrochloric acid because of that stupid line. <laughs> okay, so if you remember that pH is equal to the negative log of our hydronium concentration. So we're told what it is. So we have the negative log of 1.2 times 10 to the negative third. So then that is equal to negative, and then the log of 1.2 times 7 to the third is negative 2.92. So you can see these cancel out to be a positive. So our pH is 2.92. This is less than 
and 7, so it's acidic. Um, and now it's going to go in the opposite direction, finding hydronium concentration from pH. We want to find the hydronium ion concentration of blood that has a pH of 7.3. So we know that pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. And remember we said it's base 10, so to get that H3O plus by itself, we have to do 10 to the negative pH. That's where this neg the negative sign comes in there, so we moved it over here. And that is equal to our hydronium concentration. So that means we have 10 to the negative 7.3. And that gives us 5 times 10 to the negative 8th molar, which is less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. So this is basic, which you can also see by that pH of 7.3. It's really close to being neutral, but it's actually basic. And here's another question. What are the pOH and the pH of a 0 0.0125 molar solution of potassium hydroxide, KOH? So potassium hydroxide, this is a strong base, meaning when we put it in water, it's going to break apart into potassium ions and hydroxide ions. And so then we know also using our stoichiometry that the concentration of KOH is equal to that of OH minus. That's one to one. So that means then that our concentration of OH minus is equal to that of KOH, which is 0 0.0125 molar. So we can find our POH right away. POH is equal to the negative log of OH minus. So that's the negative log of 0 0.0125. And that gives us 1.903. So there's our POH. And for pH, we know that pH plus POH is equal to 14.00. So pH equals 14 minus POH. So we have 14 minus 1.903, and we get 12.10 for pH. If we wanted to, we could go another step and calculate the concentration of hydronium in that, but we don't. That, that's not what we're asked. But this kind of harkens back to that table I was talking about that I might give you on an exam. Um, this figure here just kind of shows some things that are affected. Um, by acid based reactions, something like acid rain um, can affect trees, making them more susceptible to drought and insect infestation. So, and it also is going to deplete, deplete nutrients in the soil. Um, and it can corrode statues so, that are made of marble or limestone. Um, these are a couple of different um, pH meters. Um, the one at A is a research grade. These can go down to 0 0.001 pH units, very, very accurate and are very, very expensive. Um, you can get portable pH meters um, with an accuracy of about plus or minus 0 0.2 pH units um, uh, or 0 0.01 pH unit. These are pretty cheap. Um, so for a lot of people who do stuff with like aquariums or swimming pools, a lot of times you can just get one of these cheap pH meters. They work great. This is just showing you um, some different solutions in A with um, a dye that's called a universal indicator. So depending on the pH of your solution, the indicator changes colors to give you an idea of what the pH is. So you would might have like a table that says, okay, you know, something that is red has a pH of one. And so you can compare it. Another thing that is often used is in B, pH papers, these hydrion papers. These have basically that universal indicator in the paper. So you dip it into your solution, the paper changes color, um, and then you put that on the chart to see what your, to give an idea of what your pH is. Um, this was actually used a lot when I worked in the service industry, when I worked at Starbucks, we actually had this pH paper to check our um, acidity of our um, cleaning water for doing dishes.